Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be going to a very special location today. Now, if you know that I'm a big fan of TV shows, classic TV shows, you will know that this is possibly my favorite show um, in color as a classic show of all time. And the fact that I'm going to be going here is super exciting. Um, I thought this is a good time, kind of close to the holidays, because uh, there's not that many people on the interstates and the freeways, so it's good idea. Also, I know some of you haven't seen me, uh, at least my face, you've heard my videos and so forth, so I do appreciate you supporting the channel. I'm really excited to get there, to get going, so why don't you join me? We're going to go visit Gilligan's Island. Also, I do have to mention this, and that is, I know a lot of you may wonder, well, how do you know that this is the location? How do you know this is the place? Well, I have a link in the top of this description that gives you all that information. I provide satellite imagery, I provide photos. Basically, I do a whole video with uh, proof, quote unquote. Proof meaning, you know, I draw all the conclusions, I dot the T's, wait, I dot the T's, cross the T's, dot the I's. I give all that info in another video. So in case people ask, in this video in this video I won't respond to that because this is kind of like a part two the first one is explaining why it's there why this is the location and the second video is actually going there talking about the location not talking about how it is there or how do you know it's there again that's in the first video so make sure to go and check it out link is in the description just found a parking spot and oh I'm excited I, I drove right by it but I had to park a couple of blocks away so I'm gonna be the guy with the camera like filming everything they're gonna be like what's this guy doing but anyway I'm so excited let's get right to it we are at the location of Gilligan's Island a little bit of post commentary here since it was a windy day this is the main entrance to CBS Studio Center on Radford Avenue these are some of the buildings, I'm guessing some of the administration buildings, right the cross street of Hoffman and Radford. Now continuing on Radford Street down the block, you see that administration building, you see other type of probably offices, and then you see it. I point right at it. This is stage two at the CBS Center Studios. Amazing to see it. This is where all the interior shots of Gilligan's Island were filmed. Back then in the 60s, it was known as stage 10. Now it is stage two. <music> Moving farther down the street, again, this building was large enough to house a huge cyan backdrop, which mimicked the sky. And then you had basically all the hut interiors as well as the exterior scenes where you can see the dining room table. Anytime they're quote unquote in the middle of the jungle having a conversation, doesn't matter if there are trees or not, that is all inside this structure. All of these images, snapshots, and photos that I am showing you, it looks like it's outside. I have some of the hut as well, but this is all inside that sound stage. Again, they dressed it up with that large sky blue backdrop. They put tons of plants and they made it look just like a jungle outdoors, but nope, all indoors. It's a rather long building, as you can see. They had plenty of room to do what they needed to do. And right next door to it, you're gonna see a giant four-level parking structure. That sits on the spot where the lagoon was. Could you believe that? We're gonna take a closer look in just a second. As you can hear, the ambiance was really nice. And you can see the entrance of the structure and the exit as well. Remember, in the long way, that is from this way toward the inside of the studio, that was the entire length of the lagoon. And so the side that is closest to us is the side of the sand, that is the side where they did everything on shore, and the opposite side is the water where the boats came in. This is so cool being here. Um, the fact that this right there, that was the lagoon. These were the plants. Plants were all here covering this and so cool and you have the creek here the LA River essentially that runs right alongside where the island was which was really cool it's amazing to think that they built this parking structure right on top of the lagoon that whole 
empty area, that whole empty space. And then all the interior shots done in there. Very, very cool. It's definitely interesting going to see that, that that entire parking structure was the lagoon, the plants. Um, remember whenever Gilligan was on the shore with his fishing poles with the skipper and they were fishing something out of the lagoon where Gilligan took a swim? That's all right there, which is amazing to think that they replaced it with parking. Um, and then uh, to the right of that, you will see that studio. They had easy access going back and forth between all the interior shots and the exterior. Now you may ask, where are all the interior shots? Because usually they're outside in the island, right? Well, anytime, obviously, they're inside a hut. Hal Hut, Gilligan Skipper's Hut, Professor's Hut, or the Girl's Hut, that is inside that stage two. However, some of the exterior shots, like sometimes there was certain, I don't know if you remember the episodes, but whenever they're on their lunch table or in, on that dining table eating, that's not outside, that's indoors, that's inside stage two. Whenever they would have anything where they would have dialogue outside, that's not right on the water that is all done in that studio so it's really cool those are the two main parts where the entire show was filmed other than that they use b-roll for certain things for plane shots and things like that but you can see how close that is to that road and there is a highway a freeway not too far from here and so you could see how loud it could get there being outside there was a lot of people walking by in the holidays the traffic wasn't bad it took me 27 minutes to get here which is really really good um, for LA but I can tell you that it's very chaotic throughout that um, and there was just a lot of foot traffic beyond that and kind of security presence too I was surprised how much security like I saw outside and indoors. It's still a working studio. Last Man Standing's film there um, and uh, other shows as well, but it's just interesting to note uh, how much they try to protect that place. It makes sense, but uh, yeah, now I'm excited that you guys actually were able to come and see where Gilligan's Island was filmed. Like I said, my favorite show, Marianne, Ginger, Gilligan, Professor, The Howls, Gilligan, and Skipper, all of them right here, coming in and out, day, day in, day out. Um, Gilligan would very regularly come out with his Jaguar. He had an old classic Jaguar from the 60s uh, when he started making some money, and that's pretty cool, thinking they drove down that street to get in that lot. So amazing. Hopefully I know that a lot of you can't make it here for many different reasons, whether it's travel, because of health, whatever it may be. But I'm here for you. I took the trip for you. I am so happy I did. Of course, it's beneficial for me because I get to see these sites that I love being a fan myself. So I do appreciate you watching. If you want to see more videos like this, I do have more planned soon on location sites that I won't tell you about. You just have to stick around and see. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button to support the channel. That's the best way to support the channel. Hitting that like button, letting me know that you wanna see more videos like this. That's pretty much the only way that I would know. And let me know in the comments down below what you think. Were you surprised? Is this kind of uh, not what you expected on Gilligan's Island? Were you expecting me to fly out to Hawaii or something like that? Nope. That's Gilligan's Island. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys and gals next time. And don't forget, be hopeful. Thanks as always to all the Patreon supporters, especially the executive producers for this video. Andy B, David D, Ricky, and Joe R. Thank you so much to everyone.